All right, and now we have gang violence in Inglewood. An innocent teenager was caught in the crossfire after a shooting broke out between two gang members. And this morning, the suspects are still on the loose. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live in Inglewood with what investigators are saying. Jess? Yeah, Jeff and Sharon, so apparently bullets were just flying up and down this street. Take a look at the van behind me. You can see several rounds struck that vehicle. And then further down the street, that's where the teen boy, believed to be about 13 years old, was hit by a stray bullet. Right now, we're told by police he is in stable condition. But take a closer look. I want to show you those bullet holes that hit some of the cars parked on the street. We counted at least three just in that white van behind me alone. Uh, there were also Evans markers up and down 112th uh, for other shell casings. Uh, the boy was shot in the lower back just before 7 o'clock last night while he was standing on the sidewalk in front of these homes. Uh, some witnesses told police he was just out walking with his mom. He was not the intended target. Inglewood police say gang members were shooting at each other near the intersection of Lamoli and 112th when that boy was hit. They served a search warrant on a home here this morning, believed to be connected to this shooting. Investigators say the gunman was on foot and took off. Uh, they are still looking for at least two men. Let's bring it back out here live. Just again, evidence of the shooting that took place here. You have flat tires on some of these cars. Uh, again, the teen, Jeff and Sharon, in stable condition after undergoing surgery. And then earlier last night, just have to mention, uh, there was a separate gang shooting north of here near Centinella Avenue. Three people were shot. One man there was actually killed. Uh, not believed to be connected, though, at this point. I'll send it back to you. That's a little bit of a spike. All right. Yeah, Thanks, sure. Jasmine.